Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, whoops, today's video, um, I am doing an updated flip of my Commit 30, and I'm starting from back in July. Excuse my tripod, it is totally broken, and I don't know how it's still going. So, it wouldn't surprise me if it like messed up or flipped. Okay, so my daughter drew me this. Um, I'm still using SM Plans A5 uh, monthly trackers in here, which I track most of my stuff. This was the month of July. Um, I decorated it with stickers from, I don't know. It was just one of those books. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. And then this is July 1st. Through the seventh week, I was not in here a lot. As you can tell, I printed out some pictures. Um, and I everything covered up is like addresses and stuff. So this is the following week. I write my meals on the side. Um, kind of like whenever I take medication. And then my daughters drew me this. So I tipped it in and added some pictures. So once again, I was not in this planner a lot. I do not know what planner I was in <laughs> at this point. Could have been anything. Could have been rings. Could have been getting my pocket. Could have been um, the day designer. I don't think I purchased the day designer until I don't remember. But it could have been all of those is what I'm saying. And then this is the following week, which I tried to use, but I didn't feel like back planning. So I didn't. And I kind of just write anything when I'm in here and I just try to track as much as I can. It's usually meals, stuff to buy, any type of um, health issues for my kids. And usually on this page, I write things in. But since I've been using other planners so much, I actually have not filled out the notes projects journal page. Sometimes I will just tape a picture down that my kids draw. So my daughter drew on that. And this is the tracker. So I guess I'm pretty good at the trackers compared to other things. This is my August monthly that I covered up. A lot of addresses and personal information. Um, some journaling. Some notes. My meals. Some little notes to myself. And this is covered up because there's like a bunch of stuff under there for school stuff. Um, this is August. So now we're, yeah, we're in August and I wrote some like journaling. My daughter, she drew me, um, what is this? Uh, Pinkalicious because she likes Pinkalicious. And once again, I tracked the um meals we have for the week lists and i use stickers that my daughters gave me just for, kind of for fun and um we were all sick we had like the stomach bug um this is september once again this is empty so i did not get a chance to put anything in there so it's kind of like a bummer because i don't know how much this is i feel like i paid like over 50 bucks is what i'm saying so you kind of want to like make the most out of whatever you purchase and um i it is kind of like a bummer that i haven't been using it because i've been using other planners that have been trending so um so i don't think i'll be repurchasing this next year since i haven't been as consistent as i like to be um this is september tracker once again, I covered up addresses and stuff, my September calendar, and I didn't use this again. There's like days that are missing and, you know, you could, I didn't finish odds and ends. You could tell I wasn't in this planner, but I tried to be. Also, it looks like my youngest got the stomach bug after we got it. It was like a lot of sickness going on. And then I clearly used it this week, which was kind of cool that I used it. Um, it looks like I was fully in it for the week. And that's when I probably started to really depend on this planner and put it on my island in the kitchen. And I kind of just 
use it. Which made me realize that basically you can use any planner. It doesn't have to be the commit. You could use like a day designer that's A5 size. Anything that can fit into, I guess, this cover if you need it. But you just put it um, in your kitchen or wherever and you'll just use it for the week. So I started to realize that after spending all this money on other planners because they've just been trending and people are like, oh, this is cute, makes you want to buy it. And then you're kind of like, why did I buy that? I mean, I could have just got this at Target kind of thing. Oh, and then I got these little cute decals from the Dollar Tree and they're like the rub-on transfers. So I liked um, the pumpkin design. I put those in. Meals. I started to use highlighter and just kind of use this as like a big map of my week. No, nothing here. And then now we're entering October. So this is where I'm currently at in this planner. I tipped in this vellum a long time ago. I have not decorated um, this planner the way I used to. I used to print out stuff and just wasn't feeling it anymore. Um, so this once again is my tracker. Um, I covered this up and I used the rest of those um, rub-on transfers. And then this was the past week. So it looks like I wrote the meals in. I was tracking my daughter's meds. Just wrote in some journaling. Tried stamping. It didn't work out. Voted. Um, and then this is this week. I covered up this medical note. I need to call. And I was going to take this out. And just put in a tab instead because I don't like how dusty the other ones get they like oh it ripped again I like collects dust so I just like to put this on the day uh, and I got this washi from I think Staples we were at Staples this weekend or this past weekend and it's like I will I am B, and then it's like I can or something so like a motivational all I'm gonna do really is just what I always do is I just write Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and I just write what I cook for the week and then I go back to my other one and see like what we ate last week to make it like a variety or change it and then I just mostly fill in like practices and games for the week for the kids or for my oldest. And then I put in like any important assignments or if we have to go somewhere on the weekend. And then I always track at the bottom. It's kind of like the same as like medicine right now for my youngest. So I like track that and then any notes in between is kind of like I don't even look at it because I use my pocket right now. So I will show you guys that too. Um, I just have, so October, then we have November. Oh, it looks like, it looks like it's stained. It got some of this on here, which is weird. I've never noticed that before. Um, then I have my tracker here from SM Plans and nothing. Oh, wait, whoops. I didn't even notice that. Well, let me check that out. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't know I filled out my entire November it's not that bad, but it does have a few, a few things on it. So I'll just kind of skip that. Um, this is particular week since it's in November, um, and it's my kid's birthday week. I kind of try to decorate it a bit, but I like the pumpkins. Remember I was telling you guys about that pumpkin sheet. I kind of used it and then I did that here for the week of Thanksgiving. So it's like the only kind of decorative thing that I've done and then December look it transferred on that's really interesting I've never noticed that it it did that um so I put in an old Christmas vellum here like a long time ago when I first set it up there are seven days in the week and some days in one of them it's motivational then I have the SM plans tracker again it looks like I have a note for an appointment I have to make and then that's pretty much it for the rest of the planner. I have my kids' school schedule, their information, my school stuff and passwords. And then it's filled in the back with like future holiday cards for people's birthdays, 
Christmases or whatever, it's like filled and I'm not going to flip through it because I also have like my health labs. I have like my kids paperwork, everything I stuff there. And then I refer to it. Like I even have receipts and then I'll pull out like a fat stack for like the month and then I'll scan them and throw them out. So this is kind of like my catch all. I'm not going to change this part of my routine for 2025. For 2025, I need a big planner at my um, kitchen because that's where I am packing lunches and stuff. I don't, I don't necessarily need this at my desk. At my desk, what I keep is my school planner and all my school stuff. So at my desk, I have this planner because I need that when I sit down and do the, be on the computer. So this one, she stays on the island and that's where she's pretty pretty chunky you guys and um she's pretty chunky I don't think I'll be ordering another one I love it I do love this planner a lot uh, it's definitely worth it um I just kind of wanted to try another layout not vertical or maybe vertical I don't know I'm kind of looking for something else and I noticed Staples has a lot of different a variety of designs and I, as you can see, I'm not even using the extra pages for decor, you know, that extra page or the goal one. So I'm not using those. So basically all I need to do is like paste my monthly tracker, the A5 one from Essence Plans, like somewhere in between my months, all my months. And that's all I really need. So I think I'm going to end up going to Staples and seeing if I can find one that's A5 size to fit into this cover. And if not, I hope it has a plastic card one like this one and I'm totally fine with it. Anyways, I just wanted to update you guys and show you my commit and I hope you enjoyed. Okay, bye.